back, back, back in business. Let's see, taking on one last troll <laughs> before the new update four days my dudes let's uh follow that up with a little link to the channel click there 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 and go Oh, I have a new tag in the Stone Chart Discord channel. Content creator. Hey, a little thing about next to my name. Ah, oh, they didn't have to. Anywho. Back to this screen and welcome back everybody to some more Stone Chart. Today we will kill Getting ahead of myself there. Today we will once again attempt to kill a troll um, with the a hunter build. That's what I call it. We are a level 9 Dervin, the Woodward. And uh, I thought we would run through the build just again a little bit here. We've had some comments that I want to address. And then, of course, we got to talk about it's only four days. Four days until uh, the next update assuming that they don't back out on us again but they just posted a new huge banner which says november 18th on it so god damn it i i i believe it will happen it will happen and um i'm excited i hope you guys are too lots of things are going to change i can't i can't someone asked me yesterday uh just like what's gonna change in the new update and i was like man I don't even know. <laughs> so much. Everything is changing. So if you want to read about it, you can go to the official Discord or the Steam community page. And there's a, a ton of devlogs to read. Combat system, map, of course, new map system, new dungeons, new dungeon system, new enemies, new enemy systems, uh, and so on and so forth. Skill trees are being reworked. Stats are being reworked. New equipment is being added. Oh, and the crime system is being implemented. And uh, the guy that I was then talking to, uh, Mr. Jawafa, as it were, uh, said, well, why are they not, like, doing these uh, little changes incrementally instead of doing it in one big update? And I had to answer, honestly, I don't know. Um... I'm sure that they have a good reason. Like, I feel like both both things are a legitimate way of doing it, obviously. Um, but are they shooting themselves in the foot by by having these long breaks between updates instead of having incremental updates? I think that you could make an argument that yes, they are. But maybe they have a really good reason. I don't know. Oh. We learned last episode that the beer was not worth bringing and the brandy probably not worth saving either. Take that one out here. Uh, bandage in to the chest. We are going to go and do a dungeon first today and then we are going to um talk a little bit as we are doing that about a new approach we want to repair the war bow here so that we have two bows that we're bringing we m right now as it is right now unless i talk myself out of it i will disenchant the restorative carved gold ring and uh then try it without the curse. It does give plus 6% energy restoration on top, which is so good. 
And um, but the other things about the ring, energy and energy restoration plus one, which isn't what it normally does, it's not really that big of a deal. So we might want to try and find another ring then if I am disenchanting this one. And I would like to get to level 10, which I believe that we would just from defeating one dungeon here. Uh, and I think we have everything that we need. Let's drink some water, eat some food, and then roll out. Autobots, roll out. We'll keep the ring for now. I think the ring is still good for normal dungeoneering. Oh, but the argument, and this was from a Yuku to comment against the ring. Uh, I keep the ring currently because of the extra crit chance, as, and as we've seen against the troll, what I need is to do more damage, just flat out more damage over time per round on average, and the ring helps with that. The counter argument is that it is dealing damage to me, and we have seen that it does quite a bit, and sometimes it kills me. And I spend turns, valuable turns, on keeping my health high. So would I upgrade my damage output by not having the ring? And so 13% extra crit chance, and this is a variable bonus, it goes up and down a bit, but around 13 to 15 maybe. Um, and then what we're looking at then is, well, what does that do? We have 122% crit efficiency, which means that when we crit, we do 22% extra damage. 22% extra damage, 15% of the time is not a whole lot if you do the math. It's honestly not that much. Uh, so I think it's a valid statement to say that it's probably not worth it. Right? Right. And we could have another ring that does something different good. Uh, I, I have not kept a bad backup ring though to to replace in case I was disenchanting. So hopefully we can go to a skeleton dungeon right now. That's where we have the highest chance of finding jewelry. Uh, oh, here's the elder. I'll take any job. Hero's fate. This one. All right, reduce silver with the early subscribe in the stream. Thank you so much, sir. Four days, man. Four days. Someone bought me a sub for my normal channel, so here's a month for you. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Are you excited for the update? I've been talking a bit about it here. Did I take that quest? I think I did. Four days. And it is in, we don't own a map. The Dark Burial, exactly where I wanted to go. Good stuff. And then we will go and find some water. Fill the water skin. Get the blessing. Think real hard. Did, am I forgetting something? Yes, food. Uh, and I wanted to sell the alcohol so we have some more money for food as well. Probably just going to watch you for a bit when it comes out. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, I am planning, and I don't think I mentioned that yet, but I'm planning to stream on the day as it comes out. Now I will have to go to work on that day unless I can talk my boss into giving me an extra vacation day, but I have already taken a vacation day uh, Friday the day after, so I can stream all day, all night. I'm not sure if I can go 24 hours, but it'll probably be something like I stream until I drop, and then when I wake up, I start streaming Don't Shout Again. I want to be, I would like to be the first YouTuber slash streamer that gets to the Golden City and explores the new content, and on Permadeath. So uh, that's a bit of a goal. You know, you gotta have life goals. <laughs> so uh, that's mine. And uh, yeah, this would be some good content. And then I'll be starting a YouTube series as well, ASAP, so that we have both streams to content and 
dedicated YouTube content coming out covering all of Stone Shard. Uh, how is the deep rock update? What platform do you own it on? Because the patch doesn't hit all platforms at the same time. I'm not sure if you're talking about deep rock then or Stone Shard, but the deep rock update is amazing. Not as substantial as the one Stone Shard is getting, but I have really been enjoying the new stuff and it kind of has reawakened awakened my, uh, my deep rocking um, passion a bit. It's not like all changing, but I haven't I haven't even gotten to unlock the new weapons yet. So I feel like I'm locking into Deep Rock every day, playing a few missions. I've been promoting some characters that were due for promotions. And then yeah, just having some fun with it. Lots of new players in the Deep Rock community, which is fun to see. I, I like teaching new players to play Deep Rock Galactic, showing them all the tricks. It's just good fun. And I own all of these games on Steam only, Steam PC. So I have no idea what time Stone Shard will update, like a time of day. Uh, I have not, I don't think I've seen a uh, time anywhere. So, no, no, we're not supposed to do this. And we didn't bring a Nikif, but that's fine. I think the devs are Russian, so your time probably. Oh yeah, for Stone Shard. Mm -hmm. Did you know that the uh, Deep Rock de developers are Danish? Like Kitchen. A little bit of uh, national pride for me there when when we put out a good game from, from my country. Not a lot of da Danish games coming out in general, but uh, the ones that do are usually really high quality, if I have to say so myself. Let's see, we are going into... Oh, ah, we don't have... What's it called? The green arrows. We only have... We have a, a troll arrow cocker. Or uh, quiver, quiver. Well, that's fine. Oh, whoops. Misclick. All right. Been a little while since I played here. They have such community goodwill. Oh, yeah. But they do a lot of community service, the Deep Rock Galactic guys. They know what they're doing. Oh, let's have a little melee duel, duel with this other archer guy. Sure. Uh, step here, then elusiveness. He didn't even hit me. We are here to make money and get XP, right? So we are looking for some good value on these items. That's another locked door. Let's go up this way first then. I'm still trying to use the sprint and distracting shot st strategy of keeping my buffs going for longer by like dashing around. I've been quite happy with the results from that. I feel like I have my buffs for way longer than I would normally have. Uh, this one will throw a bone, so we have another turn here. Did it get immobilized? It did not, so it's gonna step in. And then elusiveness is like the direct counter to a ghoul because it gives me four stacks on the elusiveness from that one. That attack. So are you leveling before troll again? Yes, that's the goal. We want to get to level 10 and also um, repair that other bow that I have in the tavern and do those two things. And then you can weigh in on this uh, idea, but I think the working theory right now is that we are disenchanting the curse ring. Um, because, yeah, well, someone made an argument or a comment on YouTube that it's not worth it, and I tend to agree currently, so I think we're doing that.
Oh, he's got 18. Well, I'm still going to do elusiveness here, just because there's no reason not to. In case I miss with my swing or something. Um, out with bow. Oh, here's a guy. Um, aim, leaf arrow. Oh. No, we are running. Don't be dumb. Aim. Leaf. First. Probably another leaf. Because of the higher armor on him. And there he got immobilized, so now we can just pelt him. That thing is worth some money. It looks like a locked door, and indeed... Oh, and it's just a little ghoul. We'll fight it in melee. We made him drop his weapon, now he's on fire, and there he dies. I forgot to bring lockpicks. I even, I found my old post-it note with the leaving town checklist. And what do you know, it says lockpicks right there, yeah. But I was like, I don't need that. And there's another chest right here. I want to go back to town to pick that up. Silly business. It'll take two minutes. Uh, let's lockpick this trap here as we're leaving then. Same with this one over there. Oh, okay. Could have gone better. Did I just kill myself by doing poison trap twice? No, we'll live. But that is silly. Let's dig up a grave as we're here then. Hmm. I saw something, someone posted a guide about you can time your clicks or something when you dig graves in order to dig faster. I figured out how to do it myself. We got far before the Curse of Gorlos trick at that time. See, sometimes it doesn't hurt me that much, but sometimes it just pokes me at very enough, you know, inopportune times. Not a single time here. That was one crossing this map tile. Three times to eight. I meant to lower the volume of that one. <laughs> Get dunked on. What does that mean? And bless you as well. You saw me sneeze. I'm pretty sure I muted it. 
but thanks. It's always a, a gamble. Can you make, can you reach the mute button in time before the very loud sneeze? Oh, we found a better bow. No way. Huh. There is no sound anyway. Is that the way you normally stream this? What? Is there no sound? You can hear me talking, surely. Get done on is a saying from basketball, but what is... I don't get it. Only I am allowed to make jokes that make no sense, Felix. And it's not funny if you have to explain it. There's no game sounds, really? You're right. I can hear the sound of him hammering that thing, but I see that it's not moving here. Why? Give me a sec. Audio routing fun. But it's just pulling from system audio. And that's what I'm listening to. So you didn't hear the subscribe thing either? Yeah, I just turned on Spotify and that didn't do anything either. Okay, so we definitely have audio issues. There we go. Brace yourselves. We have sound, I think. That was my Spotify, in case you're wondering. And there's the lockpicks. I almost forgot that that was why we came back to town. Can we not sell this soldier's boat quiver here either? Hmm. Surely the merchant will buy it. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at remembering things, but this is why we have the posted check checklist. I just gotta re read it. Brigand Mandel. I haven't seen this uh, mantle before. Maybe I should read the town, leaving town's checklist. Water skin refill. How about we do that? Repair. Arrows. Arrows? We have arrows. Food. Medical supplies. Prayer. Sleep. And vivifying essence. Let's go sleep. For more XP. That I can get behind. So we sleep until 7 in the morning because I do want to buy some stuff as we're leaving town here. Be free of checklists. But I want to use my checklist. How long do you think it will take you to power level to see the new content? Will you beat the troll first again? In, is it gated in that way? Um, I well, the, the, the easy answer is I have no clue uh, about any of those questions. Uh, no answer to any of them. How long will it take you to power level to see the new content? I. Uh, it takes about if you if, if you play fast and you don't have to restart. It takes currently it takes about. Let's say between eight and ten hours to beat the current version of Stone Shard, right? So 
I could do it that in the stream if I didn't die at all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so with the new content, let's just assume that it's double. So like 16 hours ish. And I don't know about power level because we, you know, all the systems are being changed and we need to be careful. I need to be playing sort of slowly if, if we're playing on permadeath and we, we are keeping the mentality of don't die. I mean, you gotta play s slow and safe. So the, the emphasis will be on getting there and not getting it done quickly necessarily. Because failing would take longer, right? With me, I remember to buy the Nikkev as well. I should add that to my leaving sound checklist because this one was written before um, the um, the Nikkev came out. But in fact, maybe maybe I should like have a clean post-it note ready for when we start the stream. On the new update, and then we can build a new leaving tower checklist. I assume it would have many of the same things on it, but there might be new additions, and there's not enough room on this one. I didn't check the leaving tower checklist before leaving town, so. <laughs> I think we have everything though. Six. Step, step, four. Back in the old dungeon. You've been hopelessly addicted to an old game. So much to be playing recently. The uh, the Awakening. All right, I played that one quite a bit. And I, it had occurred to me that I could try, like, YouTubing it, but I'm honestly bad at it. it it's like a very deceptively com complicated game. I forgot water. We're out of water. Okay. Now we're teleporting back to town. I'm sorry, guys. I need to drink more coffee, clearly. We just slept in town, so this is like... Just cheating a bit to get back to town quicker. Not proud of that one. Let's go over here and fill up the water skin. Do I have food? I also need food. I just assumed that everything was set. I have it ready. I'll keep it right here. By the Nikov. Water skin refill. Repair. Sure. Food. Medical supplies. Lock picks. Bought those before we slept. I did the prayer. We slept. We have vivifying essence. Isn't it like 10 or 9 or 10 out by you? Arrows. We have plenty of arrows. Um, yeah, it's, it's very late. I slept all day and we'll do an all nighter kind of thing. And then I'll head to work because I fucked up my sleep schedule again, but it's fine. I'll show up early Monday morning. My boss will be like, oh, you are up early. He does that every Monday. And I'll be like, yeah, I woke up early just for you. <laughs> Because I'm so excited about getting to work. And he, then he's all, oh, that's cool. Kitchen is such a dedicated worker.
Oh, and then it reset the dungeon. And it spawned a chest right inside the door. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright. This time for real, guys. I think we have everything that we need now. We got an archer and a spear guy. Leaf shaped. So, aim. Aim. Okay, he does not do a lot of damage to us, so I think we'll be okay here. And he ran out of arrows. Oh, oh, here we got some tougher guys. Uh, and two of them. Not just, came, I don't recall ever seeing a skeleton crossbow man. That's fun. And worrisome. And we are low on health. Uh, he's gonna shoot at us here. We aims, then we break line of sight. Does this guy have a charge or anything? No, skeletons don't have charge. What am I saying? Um. Hmm, lucky. He shot his friend. He must be low. Uh, he's gonna swing at us, though. Yes, so we do illusiveness. Oh, he, he took zero damage from the shield dash. Fair enough. And he got shot by his friend again. Alright. Just make the enemies kill each other. Easy. Sword. Pull lever crossbow is worth a lot of money. Download the Theater 2 demo. I I don't know if I played the second one. Combat is almost too hard for me to decipher, yeah. Thought you were a bit tougher. Um, so we have this very fickle ring that is damaging us all the time, and I suspect that's why we're low on health right now. Um, and also, once we do take any kind of trickle damage, we sort of we struggle to keep up with the healing because my healing is already battling the curse ring, and so any damage we take usually sticks. My healing will outdo it at some point, but it, you know, sometimes it struggles a bit, and I think that's what we saw. Uh, we shouldn't be looting right now. We should loot at the end of the dungeon. Oh, this is a dead end. It is a dead end, yeah. Knock, knock. Come in here. Step. And he's going to swing. Oh, but I don't have elusiveness. Didn't matter. Oh. Oh! This is the boss! <laughs> this is only the second time that I see a non necromancer boss in uh, this type of dungeon. He's got the shield bash. Armor break.
if the enemy is done, if the enemy is stunned, oh sorry, dazed, blah 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 blah, applies the enemy with extra damage taken, a Lord Control Resistance for three turns, okay. He's got Hammer and Anvil, which is a stance. Also more armor damage, he really wants to destroy my armor, this guy. That's going to be expensive more than anything. Delivers a shield strike to three adjacent targets, doesn't really matter. Onslaught. Drains my energy and has a chance to knock back. If it hits, the attack advances and delivers an extra strike with a day's chance. If you fail to inflict knockback, the cooldown is reduced by 80%. Damn, okay. Yeah, we probably will just want to pelter this guy at range. I have not drunk my Nikaf yet. It's time. Okay. So. Leaf Shade. Then aim. Well, he probably has a very low dodge chance. So let's try to just shoot at him. Yeah, good. Without aiming. Uh, no, I think one of these is a range 2 ability. No, okay, so we can shoot one more time. Do distracting shot. Okay, come over here. Nice, and you got immobilized. Yeah. And that's the level up already. Oh, I did not decide what kind of... Uh, stat increases I want. Into inventory will drive you loopy. Yeah, I... Mm. I always thought that the inventory is ever so slightly too small in this game. Leave with that. Open basket. it. Okay. And they are adding these new artifacts that need to sit in your inventory in order to give you their boost. Which means if you start carrying around artifacts, you will have even less inventory space. And that is going to be rough. Skadian Shield. Eat the food. Drop a splint. So that was the boss. Oh. I know we have not leveled yet. I'm not I'm thinking about do we do it's perception or vitality, I think are the only ones that I really consider. Uh, willpower, maybe, but no. Okay, we did not get a lot of hits on this guy. Uh, or this guy's? Got this guy. 51% HP is not a lot for him, though. Oh, he went into his stance. Okay. Okay. He never landed a hit on me. What is with those misses? Yeah, uh, it's because we're using the the broadhead arrows, the the gray one, and that one has a significantly reduced uh, hit chance, you know, or accuracy. So you gotta steal yourself for misses when you use that one. Usually, when I go to a dungeon, I will have the green arrows with me to sort of open fights because that almost guarantees a hit with the increased accuracy of the normal arrow. What is this? An enchantment scroll lying on the floor. Never seen that before. Like, in shells, sure, but not like lying on the floor. Is it a trap? <laughs> no. What do we enchant? The splint them braces. Oh no, no, we need to enchant the new bow that I'm going to be equipping. 
back in town. But we can buy another enchantment scroll and then not let this one take up our inventory space. So I say the splint vamp braces. Intoxication resistance. Oh, that's honestly really good. I'm not sure how much that will affect stuff, but uh, we often get very intoxicated during a fight with the troll. And so having resistance to that means, well, then I can just... Uh, What's it called? Like, drink, drink more potions? Drink more potions? Aren't they the super expensive ones? The broadhead arrows? I think the broadheads are the most expensive ones, yeah. Backpack is full. We'll do some more uh, inventory management before we leave the dungeon. I should really move on while we have the Nikov buff. Oh, another mage? Mages are scary. Probably the only thing that we really fear. So we'll back off a bit, and then now, maybe it's one perception and one vitality. Because I, I don't want to double down on vitality, I think. This is more damage output, which is what we need. So, and if we're getting rid of the ring, I think it's double perception. more damage. And in skills... Athletics, I think we've mostly finished. Killing enemies while under the effect of Adrenaline Rush. Doesn't work on the troll. Never again. Still don't really understand this one. And then, if we do, do Sudden Lunge, we need... This is like an upgraded version of the kick on the troll. Ranged weapons, then we could. Oh! Dissipation. Each successful shot applies the enemy with lower dodge chance for four turns. Each missed shot gain grants extra accuracy for four turns. This affects stacks. And a flat accuracy bonus. Hmm. That's nice. The stands, I don't think it's worth activating this one during the troll fight. Spending turns on that. Hunter's Mark takes the shot with extra accuracy. A successful hit marks the enemy, which then increases damage over time. This one might be good against the troll. Hunter marking the troll. Oh yeah, and with an accumulative, and it's an attack in itself with higher accuracy. I think this is what I should be going for, so we'll buy the, the treaters in, in, uh, in town when we get back. You're going to get two more po points? No, but I don't think uh, anything else that I would get would give me something right now. So it, we're, whatever we're building, we need to think about, well, what if I do another level again? Because there's nothing here. Then it would be this one just for the passive bonus 3% weapon damage. That seems not like it's worth it. And sudden lunge, not really. Next sweep, no. Okay, so it's like... What am I getting? This one isn't bad. It's actually gonna be useful, so... And against the troll. What? I forgot about this guy, because I was thinking about something else. So... Let me... Pop a... Healing self... Anything else? I'm kind of scared of this guy. Oh, he coming. There he is. Uh, we don't dash in, right? Oh yeah, grants counter chance and lowered skill cost when adjacent to an enemy. And he will shoot at me. 
Now he's going to punch. Yeah, because he's got no abilities. Oof. Everything is fine. We lived. Okay. We're still trying to make more money here before we leave the dungeon. Oh, whoops. Um, eight, two money, two money. Bone, rack, skull. Something that I haven't confirmed, and I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, I don't think they've confirmed that they are going to add more skill trees on launch of the new update. And that's something I would really like to see. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Because I think there was something about that being a thing. I know there's no magic trees coming, but like alchemy, cooking, no. Not sure. I don't think cooking's gonna be a skill tree either. I feel like there was something. It escapes my mind. No space. Oh, here's one of those rings that we need. A new ring to replace the cursed ring. That's good. So then the moose antlers are not worth all that much. This fox pelt. No. Footman axe. The pretty expensive one. Yeah, compared to the luxurious belt then, so heal himself, antique a glove, <clears throat> yeah. Money. Do you ever return to dungeons to collect more loot before resetting them by collecting winnings? Um, yeah, I have done it. And I, we are in the stage of the game where I don't care all that much, but if we were really hard-assing it, uh, I might just do two runs for, for this dungeon in particular. I'm sure we would make a lot of money off of it. I, I just want to go back and fight the troll though. Right, so... You you definitely could. And you we could optimize our inventory then to... be better for coming back for the, to a dungeon that is already empty and you don't need to bring medical supplies and so on and so forth. Right? Now this dungeon wasn't very big, but I have definitely done it in some of the bigger dungeons where there was just like loot or strewn all over the floor and I was like, okay, we can definitely make money. Early, early in the game, when you are struggling for money and really need that boost, I think it's a good idea. It's about being a patient player as well then, which I'm not always, especially when I'm streaming. Not taking the green shield. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the magic enchantments on a shield is to still not increase the value of an item. So the fact that it's a green shield doesn't mean anything. Uh, this the base shield was that wooden shield, that the heater shield, which is and when it's all, it's a decent shield, but when it's all bashed up, it's not worth anything. Okay. Well, you never know, and someone might correct me, because I, I, you know, I've this, this is a feature that I've asked for many times. I, I think it's silly that enchanted weapons are not worth more 
than their base counterparts, right? You would think that this venomous halberd with this awesome enchantment on it is worth more than a normal halberd, but it's not. Time to sell some stuff. And then this shop's closed. No, no. Everything's fine. Uh, and is this a wooden shield? I think so. Yeah. 160. Not a lot. I'm always bad as well at gauging the cost of an item. Like, I often think that a footman axe like this one would be worth a lot more, but clearly I am often wrong about that. What other rings can we get? Bronze, amethyst ring. I think the one that we found here, the silver aquamarine ring. Lord cooldown duration is nice. Health restoration, healing efficiency, and fortitude are all good <clears throat> for the troll fight. This one here has sort of the same bonuses, but not the cooldown duration. So this one's better. You like to buy books. I think that was all for him. No, the sea pearls and... Oh, we also found a carved gold ring. This one should be worth more by the smith. 71 for that one. Food. Yeah, 95. Oh, we broke 2,000 gold, damn. Did not expect that. Buy the enchantment scroll. So, when you buy enchantment scrolls, you always buy them from the priest. Which is why I didn't do it, because I, the thought struck my mind. But he, this guy sells... Uh, the, the, enchant, the, the merchant always sells you just random things from other shops at a slightly increased price. So if you can find them anywhere... Uh, away from the merchant, you will save a bit of money. I think it's 50 more gold or something that he demands. So we buy the enchantment scrolls here from the priest. Uh, disenchantment scroll for the ring. I will save before doing that in case I want to undo it. Need more antitoxin. We need new splints. Bring another antitoxin. Uh, we will need probably one more healing salve. Oh, and bandages. Okay. Ah, and I didn't empty my backpack. So this crossbow, only 150, damn. So now we're, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, now we are going to do troll prep. No, we are going to go up here and buy a book. The book system is also going to change. This guy is going to be changed in the update so that he has, he doesn't have all the books, but like a random assortment every time we come to him, like a normal merchant. Right now he just will have everything except the top tier meat magic books, I think. Um, where... Does he not have archery books? Oh! No, ranged books, but still. I don't see it. How about that? Huh. I don't think I've ever gone to buy a ranged book before. And I didn't know that he doesn't sell them. Checking it one more time in case I'm blind. Spears, staffs, shields. 
I almost don't believe it. He sells every book but not ranged treatises. Huh. I never knew. Well. Um. I just... I don't really care about the sudden lunge, and I don't care about invigorating. Yeah. Combat master, we don't have. We could buy um, combat mastery one and get seize initiative, and use this to uh, stop the troll regeneration. I think you can do that with a bow equipped, but I don't honestly know. If that works, it could be good. Hmm. Okay, we'll try that out. Oh, just first, let me see, maybe there's a range, there's a range tree just right here. Okay, I got what I wanted. Sometimes the merchant has it. Good stuff. Um, but maybe I, I do it after we've slept so that I can try out the season initiative if we had to try it again. In the choice, uh, we also need to repair the other bow. So we got a little bit of setup here. Before we get going. Buy some new arrows. And we needed another quiver, I think. Which I can afford. Let's... We'll enchant as well after having slept. So we can save scum it. That's my not. Oh, and I forgot more stuff. I need to sell the Stardust by the Priest. Here. And we need... By Broadhead, Broadhead... Broadhead repair. Oh, no way, we can't afford it. Wasn't there something else that I had forgotten to sell? The wine. That is an expensive bow. Hmm. The elven ice wine should bring us a little bit of cash here. Yeah, good. Okay. Oh, I look at all these lockpicks. Whoops. Um. Like that. That way I can also carry extra arrows, actually, so that's kind of nice. Inventory management time. I 
have wanted an extra haunted honey, but I don't think we can afford that now. And I don't want to do another dungeon. Not right now. Uh, we know where the troll is, right? It's one to the left and one northwest. The map in here as well. I'm buying some redundancy unnecessarily. So what am I missing? I feel like we didn't have that much inventory space last time and I'm gonna spend these two, but we need more food. We're missing a quiver. You need space for the bow being dropped. You're right. Gotta keep that in mind. These two will go out. So let's sleep. We need the restorative buff, so it's above the P. I'm just thinking, am I forgetting anything else here? The money isn't necessary. Oh, but we do need to... Let's go and buy that ham now. Now we don't have space. looks nice. I do like that. Alright, time to give it a little rest here. 